Mental Health finally fessed up on what it knew all along and tried to downplay since last week when the news of a Trojan horse virus infiltrated its network and escaped with a stash of information to include members' records running into the millions. Our Clazel Pardelia deep dives into the matter with this story. Geraldine will go through a biopsy examination and operation tomorrow. That is why she headed to the Philippine Health Insurance Corporation's office to get her updated membership and data records and a veil of health benefits. However, she failed to acquire the much-needed documents from PhilHealth. Some PhilHealth systems will remain offline after a hacker successfully infiltrated the agency's computers and a Medusa Trojan virus and stole a plethora of information from the state insurance company. Siyempre malaking tulong si PhilHealth eh. Lalo sa kapag ka na hospital ka, di ba? Ganyan. Pag may claims ka. So, importante talaga si PhilHealth. Kaya nakakabala talaga pag nanakaw yung information mo. More than 700 gigabytes of PhilHealth digital information was illegally obtained and exposed by the Medusa Hacker Group, aside from the personal and sensitive information of PhilHealth employees. The DI City discovered and confirmed the stolen wealth of information also contained millions of members' data. It's not the entire database, but it's still a significant number. Is it millions? Yes, millions. Ngayon, parang lumalaki na. But we're 90% done. The National Privacy Commission is investigating the full extent of the data breach. Some of the 421,000 files stolen by the Medusa Trojan have been confirmed to be related to membership claims that could be used for fraudulent activities. It appears na related sa claims. It might be a, an inventory or something, no? Pero hindi yung claim form, eh. You know, parang collection or reports to. Ng, it appears na ganun, no? But we have yet to clarify this with PhilHealth. Dahil wala sila nakuhang kahit na isang kusing na ransom from the government, eh, they will try to monetize the information. And they will try to monetize the information by selling the information to scammers, to fishers na pwedeng gamitin yung mga datos na yon para kumuha ng fake ID, magparehistro ng fake SIM card, fake registration ng SIM card, or whatever, whatever, ano. So, ma may mga gamitan ng informasyon na yun. So, minomonitor po natin yan. The hacker group published this information in the dark web and on Telegram. The DI City is looking into coordinating with Telegram to remove all PhilHealth data on their platform. They are also coordinating with the National Bureau of Investigation to track those individuals who downloaded PhilHealth's information. Aside from administrative and criminal cases that could be charged against those who violated the data privacy law, those who illegally collected the PhilHealth's data are at risk to have their privacy compromised. The DICT urged the public to be more vigilant amid the ransomware attack by changing their online account passwords, activating multi-factor authentication, and not opening or entertaining suspicious emails, links, calls, and messages. We're looking at the responsibilities ng bawat officials, departments, to see kung meron bang naging negligent. At also, tinitingnan natin kung naging... Um, Forthcoming ba sila lahat kung wala ba silang tinatagong additional na information from us? No? Dapat i-up nila yung security systems nila. Tayo po ay uh, merong uh, naka-up no, na regular antivirus software. At ito po ay uh, courtesy of our uh, partner, provider, uh, noong uh, nangyari po yung incident. Na yun. Kung lalabas pa itong notice to proceed this week, ibig sabihin ay magtutuloy-tuloy na itong ating uh, updated uh, software uh, antivirus uh, protection. So mga kaasay, mga kababayan natin na uh, hindi na ito uh, mangyayari pa. PhilHealth pledged to provide full cooperation. It also assured the health benefit claims will not be affected and any form of bogus claims will be rejected. PhilHealth's website member portal and e-claims are now functional and up for access.
கலேசா பாய்டிலியா ஃபார் த நேஷன்